The Andy Griffith Show aired on CBS from October 3, 1960 to April 1, 1968, with a total of 249 episodes spanning eight seasons. 159 episodes were in black and white, and 90 were in color. The show follows a widowed sheriff named Andy Taylor, who invites his Aunt B to move in with him to help take care of his son Opie. They live in the idyllic town of Mayberry, which is referenced as not far from the big city, Raleigh, North Carolina. Andy and his cousin Barney Fife, who is also his deputy, have virtually no crimes to solve in their small town, so most of Andy's time is spent philosophizing and reigning in Barney. Throughout the many seasons, the duo fall in and out of love, but the most endearing thing about the show is the loving relationship between Andy and his son Opie. It's one of the most beloved shows of all time, but what happened after the show ended? Andy Griffith played Andy Taylor the sheriff of the sleepy, slow-paced town of Mayberry, North Carolina. After the show ended, he guest starred on other shows, including Headmaster, Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, Mayberry RFD, and was in one season of the new Andy Griffith show, before it was canceled in 1971. Then he had roles in the TV movies Go Ask Alice, Winter Kills, Savages, The Girl in the Empty Grave, and Deadly Game. He was also in the late 1970s TV miniseries Centennial, Roots, The Next Generations, and From Here to Eternity. During the 1980s, he made more guest appearances on Fantasy Island, Fatal Vision, Hotel, and The Love Boat. Starting in 1986, he also played the lead in Matlock, which lasted for nine seasons. Some of his final movie roles were in A Holiday Romance, Waitress, and Playing the Game. Griffith was married three times and had two children. He died on July 3rd, 2012 from a heart attack at the age of 86, and per his request, there was no service and he was buried within five hours of his death near his home on Roanoke Island, North Carolina. Don Knotts played Barney Fife, Andy's cousin, best friend, and also his deputy. After the show ended, he was in the TV movies The Man Who Came to Dinner, I Love a Mystery, The Many Faces of Comedy, and Harry and Maggie. Then he had roles in the movies Gus, Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo, Hot Lead, and Cold Feet, The Prize Fighter, and Cannonball Run 2. In 1979, he returned to television in his second most identifiable role, the wacky but lovable landlord Ralph Furley on Three's Company. He also made guest appearances on TV shows like The Love Boat, New Heart, Matlock, and Step by Step. He also did voice work for animated shows like Johnny Bravo, Hermie and Friends, and Robot Chicken. One of his final voice roles was in the movie Air Buddies in 2006. Knotts was married three times and had two children. He died on February 24, 2006 at the age of 81 years old from complications due to pneumonia related to lung cancer. A young Ron Howard played Opie Taylor, Andy's son, who tests his father's parenting skills season after season. After the show ended, he made guest appearances on Mayberry RFD, Land of the Giants, Gunsmoke, Lassie, Bonanza, and M.A.S.H. Then he was cast in one of the lead roles in the coming-of-age film American Graffiti. As a young man, he became a household name for playing Richie Cunningham on the sitcom Happy Days, which lasted from 1974 to 1980. He then left Happy Days to focus on directing and producing, which has worked out well for him. Howard has directed films like Splash, Cocoon, Backdraft, Apollo 13, A Beautiful Mind, and many more. He is also a co-chairman with his partner Brian Grazer of Imagine Entertainment, a film and television production company that continues to produce hit movies, often with Howard directing. Ron Howard has been married to his wife Cheryl since 1975, and they have four children, including actress Bryce Dallas Howard. Francis Bavier played Aunt B, who assisted Andy with taking care of Opie and the house. After the series ended, she played Aunt B again in Mayberry RFD and had a role in the 1974 movie Benji. Following that film, she retired from acting and bought a home in Siler City, North Carolina. Bavier lived a very quiet life in her later years. It was rumored that she had been married briefly in her early career, but there's really no proof of this occurring. 
She died on December 6, 1989 at the age of 86, where she was living in Siler City, and she was generous for establishing a trust fund for the Siler City Police Department, which still provides bonuses for the small department each year. Howard McNear played Floyd Lawson, the chatty barber in Mayberry. During the third season, he suffered from a stroke, and after a lengthy time recovering, he came back to the show but needed to be seated in most scenes because the left side of his body was partially paralyzed. He ended up leaving the program in 1967 because he had difficulty remembering his lines, making him very anxious and frustrated. Floyd the Barber was McNear's last acting role, and he retired following his departure. He was married once and had one child. McNear died on January 3, 1969, at the age of 63, from complications from pneumonia caused by another stroke. George Lindsay played Goober Pyle, the service station attendant and cousin to Gomer Pyle. After the sitcom ended, his role continued as Goober on Mayberry RFD. Then he guest starred in shows like The New Andy Griffith Show, Gunsmoke, MASH, Hee Haw, and Fantasy Island. He also had roles in the films The American Snitch, Cannonball Run 2, Return to Mayberry, and his final film role was in When I Find the Ocean in 2006. Lindsay retired from acting in 2006. He was married once and had two children. George Lindsay died on May 6, 2012, from heart failure at the age of 83. Jim Neighbors played Gomer Pyle the other service station attendant. After the show ended, he had a spin-off called Gomer Pyle USMC, where he continued to play Gomer for five seasons. He also had roles in The Lost Saucer and The Croft Super Show, right up until they were canceled in the mid-1970s. He hosted The Jim Neighbors Show in 1978, which was short-lived, but earned him a Daytime Emmy nomination. He also was in the movies The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, Stroker Ace, Cannonball Run 2, and the TV movie Return to Mayberry. His last roles were in the early 1990s, when he guest starred on the shows Hi Honey, I'm Home and The Carol Burnett Show. His life took a serious hit in 1994, when after years of declining health, he was forced to have a liver transplant. Neighbors retired from acting and retreated to his home in Hawaii, living a quiet and relaxing life. In 2013, Neighbors married his longtime partner, following the legalization of gay marriage in the state of Washington. He died on November 30th, 2017, at the age of 87. Jim Neighbors is one of the few people to ever be named an honorary Marine by the U.S. Marine Corps. Anita Corso played Helen Crump, Andy's schoolteacher girlfriend. After the series ended, she guest starred on the show's Mayberry RFD, Nanny and the Professor, Owen Marshall, Counselor at Law, and Columbo. Then she had roles in the movies Blazing Saddles and Bad Ronald. She made numerous guest appearances, including on the TV shows Adam 12, Emergency, Heart to Heart, Days of Our Lives, and even Matlock, among others. Corso was never married and had no children. She did, however, have a five-year affair with Andy Griffith during their time together filming The Andy Griffith Show. She died in Los Angeles on November 6, 1995 from cancer at the age of 62. Betty Lynn played Thelma Lou, Barney's girlfriend. After the program ended, she guest starred on Family Affair, My Three Sons, Mod Squad, Little House on the Prairie, and Barnaby Jones. Then she played Thelma Lou again in the TV movie Return to Mayberry. Betty Lynn's last roles were guest appearances on Matlock and Shades of L.A. She too was never married and had no children. She died on October 16th, 2021, after a brief illness at the age of 95. Hal Smith played Otis Campbell, the town drunk. After the show ended, he made guest appearances on The Lucy Show, Hogan's Heroes, Death Valley Days, and The Man from U.N.C.L.E. In the late 1960s, he started to voice Owl and Winnie the Pooh in the Winnie the Pooh cartoons. He then went on to do more voice work with almost every single cartoon imaginable. Smith was married way back in 1936 to his wife Louise, and they were married up until her death in 1992. 
Smith continued to do voice work up until his own death on January 28, 1994, at the age of 77, from an apparent heart attack. Howard Morris played Ernest T. Bass, the nutty, rock-throwing mountain man on The Andy Griffith Show. He also was a director for many of the episodes. After the show ended, he went on to do voice work for The Peter Potamus Show, Breezley and Sneasley, The Adam Ant Show, and The Archie Show. Morris also had some cameos in the 1980s, on The Love Boat, in Ron Howard's film Splash, and in the 1986 Return to Mayberry TV movie. He continued to do voice work through 2005. He was married a total of five times and had four children. On May 21, 2005, Morris died of congestive heart failure at the age of 85. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and maybe even consider supporting the channel over on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching this playlist. While you're at it, Hit subscribe and share Recollection Road Entertainment with someone you know. As always, thank you so much for watching.